Aloha. You're watching F5 On Demand. I'm Technical Marketing Manager Peter Silva. We're here at the Mandalay Bay Convention Center in Las Vegas for SharePoint Conference 2012. Actually yucking it up over here, aren't we, Greg? Yes, we are. I got Greg Coward with me. He's a solution engineer for a business development team. And often we talk about how easy it is to deploy various uh, web applications, SharePoint being one of them with our IAP templates, and thought we'd give you a quick demo on how you go about doing that in a big IP. But first, what are some of the challenges that organizations face when trying to deploy SharePoint in a high available, high available environment? Well, the SharePoint, you know, the biggest options they run into, or obstacles they run into is a, getting their health monitors correct, taking care of things like persistence, taking care of things like uh, compression, caching, the things that really F5 brings to the table to improve the SharePoint performance. Uh, you know, and that's the nice thing about the IOP is the IOP gives it all in one quick little menu. They just fill out the questions, deploy it in a matter of just a few minutes, and everything's running great. All right, well, let's take a look here. We got, we're on a big IP 11.2. 11.2.1, you bet. And so take us through this setup, Greg. All right, so we're going to start off. We're going to create a SharePoint deployment, SharePoint 2010 deployment. Give it a little name here. We're going to choose our 2010 template. And so, so there's obviously a, a number of choices there available for templates. And if you don't have a template or, or need a different type of template, you can go to our download site off f5.com, our support site, and get various templates if they're ones that you need that might not be available or inherent in the system, right? Definitely, you know, and I actually always recommend when you're gonna go out and do a new deployment, the best thing to do is always go out to our site and get the latest template available. Yeah. The template that comes with your operating system, or excuse me, with your uh, SharePoint or Big IP deployment rather, may not always be the most current one, so it's always a good idea to check first and then do your deployment. And the great thing about these, obviously, is that you're able to also export them, share them with, you know, other customers, if in fact you came up with a unique solution to something, added a bit to the IAP template, shared with other organizations on our Dev Central site, and everybody then gets the benefit. You bet. Very customizable, very reproducible. So a large organization that set up their own template or modified their own template, they can create it, deploy it, export it, and use it on another farm somewhere else in another part of the environment. That's one of the big benefits to it. Right. So as we go through here with the template, we're going to basically start off just to answer basically a few questions. The nice thing about the IAPs is they also give you information, things that may not necessarily be even related to deploying the SharePoint itself, but might talk about things like you know, SSL certificates, making sure that, hey, have your SSL certificates loaded on the big IP before you start the process. Right. This is an example. So we're going to go down here. We're going to do a deployment. We're going to do start off with, you want to deploy SSL offloading? Yes, we sure do. One of our big benefits. We'll, choose, we'll just choose the default certificate here for our example. We're going to create an address for our virtual server. This is the public available address. Of course, we're listed on 443. Yep. Do we want to redirect our traffic when it comes in as HTTP to HTTPS? We sure do. Redirect is going to be 80. Do SharePoint servers have a client back? In our case, yes, they do. Are they using NTLM? Yes, they are. So now on that, on that one before, if you selected no, so then the, the traffic back out will go a different route, obviously. Well, this one here, it's redirecting traffic that's coming in on HTTP, so it's going to create another virtual for it automatically. Yep. That's going to basically do a redirect to your HTTPS traffic to guarantee, right. sure, to ensure that all that traffic's coming in is going to be secured on the outside. Right, no, I got that one, but this one right here, uh, oh, a route sorry. back to the client. Yeah, so basically if you're saying no, it's not, you're going to answer some more questions. You're going to basically say whether you need to set up a, a snap. Ah, there you go. Okay. Yep. In our case here, we are doing that. All right, we're going to create a new pool, and this is our members of our SharePoint servers. Twenty-one. Oops. Excuse me. Twenty-one. Bad. Looks like you missed the last yeah, option. Sure did. The nice thing is it would let me know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're gonna queue requests. Some queue experts say no on that. Create a new monitor. 
Yes, we will. This is going to be our FQDN. That's. Leave that blank. Clients be connecting this from the WAN or LAN. We'll see from the WAN. You want to use ASM? We sure do. We're going to choose our encoding language, UTF-8. Finish. And so on this one screen, you set up not only the high availability, the load balancing, if you will, you also then are able to configure additionally the optimization solutions along with the web application security all on the same template. You bet, we're configuring ASM, we're configuring things like One Connect, our pool monitors, all our different classes, everything, all in just a matter of a few minutes. And that's it, the sucker's deployed. And then what, so then they, they would then send out the, um, the new link that's pointing to the IP and users and away they go. Away they go. Cool stuff, iApps rock, don't they? iApps are cool, iApps are very cool. Well, thanks a lot, Greg. You're Always fun hanging out with you in front of a big IP monitor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay. <laughs> so, a little bit behind the scenes on how to deploy IAP for SharePoint, SharePoint 2010. So, reporting from the SharePoint Conference 2012 for Greg right next to me. I got Helen behind the lens. I'm Peter, and we're with F5 Networks. Thanks for watching.